I told y'all I would drop this video last week, but we're finally here. I've been holding this in the vault for you guys. If you remember NBA 2K23, you remember this jump shot base very, very well. If you were even a casual in NBA 2K23, you have seen this jump shot base. You have seen this base all over the park. That is Kyle Kuzma's jump shot base before the pro play. This year, they completely transformed the base for pro play, but fear no more. If you're looking for the base, y'all my game and has found it. As a matter of fact, I'm find it two weeks ago, but you're seeing it on a build with a 78 three-pointer. My proper build that hasn't been released. And if you don't trust Yaman Gaming, this is Yaman Gaming using the real Lamelo Ball jump shot. And I'm not talking about no blows on skirt JT Thor. This is the same build, fresh out rebirth. You see the silver badges there. My proper build, fresh rebirth with the not JT Thor base, the real Lamelo Ball base. If you want that, the video is up. Send it. And you can clearly see you got that sniper. What you're seeing is my 6-5 build that's in the vault right now in the hyperbolic time chamber. Y'all been slacking on that like button. Please hit that like button, GVO family. I'm going to drop the dribble moves, jump shot, all that for you guys build video. I'll clearly see if I'm moving like this with my 6-5 without MJ dribble style. Imagine when I get that MJ dribble style. It, it can L2 cancel with a big U. Yo, Chob. Wow, on, everybody. Y'all man gaming here. We're back with our new blows on skirt video. This video has been long overdue. I said I was going to drop it for you guys last week, but there were some videos I had to drop it, you know, before that. Now, this is my 6.5 build. I have not dropped the build yet because I found a better way to make it. So instead of showing you guys how to make the build and wasting your VC, I'm going to show you guys how to make the build properly in the next video. Hit that like button. Make sure the like button still works, GVO family. Found the old Kyle Kuzma jump shot. The new Kyle Kuzma jump shot is terrible. It is pro play, so it's realistic. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of pro play features in this game that are really really good all kuzma's jump shot was perfect the way it was i'll show you guys what real kuzma looked like what do you see on the screen right now you see 24 kuzma that's 24 kuzma 24 kuzma i found out you know the same releases i'm going to be showing you with the old kuzma which is 23 kuzma 2k 23 kuzma it's going to be the same release releases i'm using on that one and you see it's a different grade because it's a different blending because the old kuzma's base as you can clearly see is way faster in speed now this is a 6-5 build as you clearly see on the bottom left of the screen it's a 6-5 build 6-10 and under you must be 6-10 and under and you need at least an 8-2 three-pointer or an 8-2 mid-range put that mid-range up for more access to jump shots i'm telling you put that mid-range up i have a popper build as well you make sure you put that put that mid-range up my popper build gets this base as well a matter of fact, I played a couple games with it. Just I played one or two games with it just because I have a popper jump shot that I will not miss with. We're gonna show we're gonna show you 2K24 Kuzma real quick. All right, let's show you guys 2K24's pro played Kuzma jump shot base. This is the pro played Kuzma jump shot base. I've never used it, so let's see what I shoot with it the first shot. Never used this jump shot before in my life on this 2K24 because 2K23's Kuzma was definitely better. All right, and I didn't want to try it, so let's try it. Let's look at the release. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Inconsistent, and I'm not a bad shooter at this game, as y'all clearly know. And if you've been watching my videos, I'm one of the fade downs on this. But we're gonna get a green out of this jump shot base. I don't know what they did to it. It's kind of like set shot 25 now, but not a good version of it. All right, so it's a realistic. So you can't fault 2K. They're going towards realism, and that's what there it is first green with it other like five shot all right it's usable but you would really have to learn this jump shot that jump shot is punished this is my six five floor space and slasher i'm going to remake the build because i'm not going to lie to you the build has some potential look at the island breeze man island, island vibes dog look like yard it look like me the back of yard but me they know one rich part of yard me the uptown Anyway, go ahead and put on that old Kuzma for you guys. That 23 Kuzma. That 23 Kuzma. Now that is the old Kuzma's jump shot. It's still pro played a little bit, but you can clearly see this is where the animation originated from. Green. Mm, mm, mm. Jump shot chicken. Jump shot straight chicken. Off the dribble, green. <sighs> Guys, all right. There it is. You can shoot even from deep with this. And if you have a high three ball, this is a 93 pointer. 
if you get it to that 92 range, you're going to be straight. I'm showing you the actual basis. All right. So this is the old. So this is the pro play Kyle Kuzma. Uh, a speed, A minus speed with default swing releases. That is definitely faster. All right. It's definitely faster with default speed. And you look at a JT Thordo, it's faster as well. So this is going to be somewhat of a liability to you if you're not careful. We don't use this. We need the old Kyle Kuzma. And guess what? It's not even far away from it. It's not even far away. It's not even that much slower than the jump shots that I recommend using on a popper build. That's what makes it so good. Now, when you slap a different jump shot on it, let's say you fix the blending. Hold on, where's Kuzma? Not Kyle Kuzma, Kyle Korver. With just Kyle Korver upper release, you get an A+, plus and you get a defensive immunity of an A. Time and stability really don't matter this year, all right? Now, let's say for the second release, you use what everybody else is using, which is either Sadiq Bay, you blend it a little bit, but you want to keep that A grade, right? This is a fast jump shot and an easy cue, as you can clearly see, a very easy cue. This is a this jump shot right here that I'm showing you is best used for push timing. Push timing is what you're going to want to use with this jump shot, because you can see when he's flicking the forearm forward, that's when you release it. With release timing, it's all about the flick of the wrist, right? But I'll show you guys that this jump shot does work. But I personally would like to use something else for the secondary release. If you guys want that fastest release for 6.5 and above, I'll drop it for you because it also gets an A-plus immunity along with the fastest grade. I'm going to show you guys how to get that, all right? Just hit that like button. Now, I'm telling you right now, this, this, this look, bro. It, it's usable. It feels great. It's way more better. It's one of the best options for off the dribble um, big builds. It's one of the best options because even when you have no stamina, you can clearly green. All right. You can clearly get some shots up and it gives you a, it's fast, but it's also gives you enough wind up to see the release cue. And especially since I'm using release timing, that's important because I can see the release cue of the jump shot easily. Now, this is a build that I'm not going to use. I'm going to remake my 6.5, knowing what I know about the game now. But you clearly see that the jump shot is green. I'm just here to deliver it to you. If you want a good upper release with it, I will drop a video on the best upper releases in this game. You know, YouTubers got a YouTube, bro. Us YouTubers have to YouTube. So don't hate me because I got to pay the bills as well. All right. You got to pay your bills and nobody out there telling you how to do it. All right, so run up the like button, 500 likes, and I will give you guys the fastest releases for 6.5 and above, because I'm using two of them right now. Even without stamina, I just shot it from back there. I'm telling you, it's a very, very decent jump shot. Obviously, there's going to be more meta bases out there, but for those that want to be different and get that old Kuzma base back, this is a 6.5 build, and I'm telling you, it is a very, very good jump shot to use. You see the rat himself, annoying TV. Look, just like annoying TV, you can't tell me no different. I thought it was annoying TV, dog. Now you see the GVO step up. I'm working on that tutorial video for you guys. The shoe creation and the tattoo tour will be on the Yardman 2.0 channel. Get ready for that. If you want to take the time to make the tattoos the way I made my tattoos, or you want to have the GVO step us on your feet, because I have more than one creation of these shoes with different colorways for different outfits I will use throughout the year. This is my own little look. I always change up the look throughout the year, but this year I'm going to have one look different colors i think that this look fits gvo you know yard man all right the gvo steppers look clean nobody else have these shoes bro i made different colorway for them and i'm gonna make more colorways for them for whenever i'm switching the the fit up you know we're gonna use the cm draws them we're gonna change the draws but we're gonna use the cm color shorts or we're gonna change the shorts but the shoes have to be look at that man right there bro all right let's show you guys what this kuzma is talking about right the old Kuzma. And because this dude is small, we can literally just do a hop back and shoot over him. Whoa, that's fast. It's This court is always smoother. 
but it's freaking fast. So you see, clearly see this. I have no badges on this build. All right, this is a rebirth build. I have no real badges. I have not really played any progression on it. It's gonna be good, dog. You don't want to drive on me no more, bro. This man is a slasher, bro. Anybody that played against Disco knows that this man is a slasher at heart. Overdose, overdose, bro. Open, too easy against bots. Oh. You don't want to get caught lacking without some some interior defense or your, your defense up. Right now, my defense is not up. I don't plan to put it up either because I think there's a better version to make this build. As you clearly see, jump shot is so friggin' chicken. I got that sharp take. Absolutely dominating the park with my 6-4 build. All right, my 6-4 build, I just dropped it for you guys last video. I'm going to drop the drip moves for the 6-4 and the jump shot. If you guys want, because I'm not using the same jump shot. As you clearly see, bro, I'm barely holding the square button on release timing. And this jump shot is freaking chicken. Chicken. This is a 93 pointer. Now, this court right here, obviously, is not on hard difficulty. But I've come to figure out that when I play good on this court and whatever I do on this court, I'm able to do on the real court. All right, the real part and the real stage. When I go to stage, it's going to be the same thing. Y'all know how I am every year. All right. This is pretty much the J. Cole court this year. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you guys how to do it. But there's plenty of methods on how to get this court already. Um, but yeah, let me wait till stamina replenish. Oh, L2 cancel with it. Nah, I dropped that L2 to cancel tutorial for you guys as well. If you want smash up the like button I'm telling you. Even though I'm getting sloppy dribbles, it's it's easy, bro. I just shut it down. Jump shot chicken. Jump shot freaking chicken, bro. Y'all want the L2 cancel? Y'all want the fastest releases? Y'all want the, the, the dribble moves for the 6-4? All that coming up, man. I just had to take one day's break. Because Yaman Gaming been on a two-month daily upload grind. And I needed one day to just recuperate. And we're back on it now. Record break. One of the one of the top 10 months we had this past month. So, you know, obviously we're going to try to kick it in forward um, in this next month and try to make it even better. So hit that like button. GVO family it helps this channel out tremendously, whether you believe it or not. I'm very grateful for anybody that hit that like button. Thank you. Big up on yourself. Big up Lord Almighty. We're gone.